and we are at our new school. The SSC results just came out. And some schools had their results seized, but all our results were released. All our children scored A's and B's. There was no person that scored credit as long as, as, as much as I've heard from them. We didn't register many people. I think we registered 21 people or thereabouts. A lot of our students, out of the class of more than 100 and something students, once they got to final year, they ran to other schools during the exam where they can cheat, where they can do exam and practice. Those 21 or thereabout who registered, all of them have made A's and B's. One of the things I found out in life, follow what is right, then you will get the right results. Do the things you are supposed to do the right way, the right time, in the right place, and you will get results. You, you will pray less. You will struggle less. So like in our schools, what we do, you must do an entrance before you enter the school, and we place you according to your level of performance. So we are not going to help you do exam or practice. And if you fail mathematics, you fail English, we don't promote you to the next class. And so our students settle down and read and they prepare for their exams. And we'll get good results. My staff went to collect the junior secondary school exam results, and they said you should collect a form for those who are going to have receipts. She collected the form, gave them money. When we opened the results, no person has receipts. Every person passed. Even in our primary school living certificates, most times we score distinctions, distinctions, distinctions. And people don't fail. Simple reason. We do the right thing, the right way, at the right time. Now, listen, most of us became who we are now because we attended schools where we were taught and trained to do the right thing, the right way, in the right place. There was no, um, not much of Pentecostalism then. Not much. But we had principles that directed us with which we were trained. That's what we need. That's what we need in this country. People who have principles, who won't cut corners, people who won't, who won't manipulate issues, people whose footpaths are straight. Don't put crooked people into positions of authority. You will get a crooked country. The time for a new Nigeria to be born is now. I remain your friend, Dr. Charles uh, Pokey.